All right, so we got my client Garrett right here, man. He is growing his hair. How long have you been growing your hair out for? For probably about, I'd say, six months now. Six months, yeah. and we've been in the process of doing a mullet. So right now what I want to do is I want to add texture to his hair. I want to keep the back longer because obviously that mullet more texture and wavy in the back. Then we're going to do like a real high taper, add some product in there, and I think it's going to be a dope look. Let's I'm excited do it. for it. Let's do it. All right, y'all, so let's go ahead and jump right into this mullet tutorial. We're going to be combing the hair down, parting it away from the top. Um, honestly, I don't know why I started doing this. <laughs> uh, I just felt like I wanted to move the hair out away from the top and create the uh, shape on the sides for the high taper. Because whenever you comb the hair up top down into the hair on the sides, everything's going to blend together. I just wanted to get it out of the way, that way I don't have to cut it. I, I don't want to cut that, that top. I want to make sure I'm blending the sides, giving the high taper on the sides, and just, you know, moving the top out the way. Right here, I believe I'm using a number three to remove some bulk to create my, my guideline for my high taper and my shape. Cause that's honestly what a, what a mullet is. It's, it's, it's pretty much a real high taper. I've seen some mullets with a lower taper, but it's basically just this area that is blended and you want that tail like shape in the back with some nice texture. And you're gonna see that, that um, I know his hair is not that long, but we're in the process of letting it grow out to a pretty good size mullet. Um, but I just wanted to go ahead and create this content for you guys. That way you can see the process whenever it grows out so after i do did the number three i worked my way down to a number two now i'm doing clipper over comb to blend into the back not removing too much off sorry this is a bad angle but on the other side you see a better view of it um, but clipper over comb is like my best friend man it, it, it conserves time um it's pretty effective and if you know what you're doing and how the how to hold the comb and I explained that in my video before this, how to hold a comb. Um, it definitely helps out with your uh, system and fading. So now I went down to my number one guard and now I'm blending up. I already blended down a little bit into the two. Now I have the one and a half guard and I'm blending whatever the two left behind. So I started with no guard, went to my one, went to my two, uh, went to my one and a half guard now I'm back to my number this is still my one and a half guard I'm sorry <clears throat> now I jumped to the two and you can see that there was some weight right there behind the ear so now I'm cutting against the grain notice how I turned the clipper cutting towards his the, you know his head um, that's because his hair was growing backwards so I want to feed that hair into that guard that way um, it cuts and now Thinning shears is also a good technique to blend into bulk. Um, just cut the tips. Don't, once you, you know, pick up the hair, just kind of like graze the tips and it'll blend. If you cut in the middle of the hair, then you're removing some length. And you can create a weight line that you cannot get out. Man, that taper coming out blurry. Yes, sir. Uh, Happy New Year to everyone. Hope everyone had a good one. Um, man, hopefully 2021 is a little better than 2020, but I know there's already some crazy stuff going on right now. I just need everyone to, to stay sane, honestly. Like, don't switch up. Like, if you have a certain outlook on life right now and whatever, you know, whatever's going on right now in the world, just try not to feed into it. Like, love everybody love everybody for real right now what this world needs is unity and love but man i don't mean to turn this haircut tutorial into something political or, or a, a debate i just want everyone to love each other that's it all right so guys so what you do to one side you're gonna do to the other Again, creating that guideline for that high taper right here. I just kind of went a little bit higher. Um, I saw that there was a little bit more hair sticking out by the ear. So wanted to remove that. And notice how I, I twisted the the um, the mask string around his ear. If you twist that and put it back over, 
it goes lower and i i i um saw this trick on it's mc barber's uh channel whenever he twisted the string to the the mask and connected it back to the ear it went lower so now you're able to get in this area for a sideburn a c-cup a blend of the beard line so dope technique mc barber appreciate that man definitely utilize that so basically the same steps guys went to my number three now i'm going down to my number two after this and then clipper over comb and that's just to remove some bulk um again it's easier for me to then to just you know use guards i, I like using clipper over comb put the bottom of the comb rest it on the client's head bring the comb outwards a little bit um, and cut that don't just dig the comb into the hair and cut so same steps guys now i'm in my number two blending into whatever the number three left behind whatever the clipper over comb left behind now this is my one and a half guard and notice how his hair grows downwards and to the back so now we want to cut against the grain guys we want to make sure we're cutting against the grain so Again, some clipper over comb action. And notice how the, the shape in the back around his neckline, it kind of curves towards his ear. We're going to do something with that. We're going to have a nice PC look. Um, I'm not going to like round or square the back. You'll see. I'm trying to use his natural uh neckline shape but also add some modern twist to it so so right here you, you see i'm cutting it to a point using the scissors okay look at that technique <laughs> i still come back with my trimmers but i just wanted to uh showcase that <laughs> all right guys so now i'm going to cut the top and i'm just going to point cut the top honestly i'm not going to do too much point cut it add some texture to it once we hit it with the blow dryer guys you're gonna see that the texture's there um we're gonna create a nice nice style for the mullet and again trust the process this is not the finished mullet this is just the start of it but i want to show y'all you know the process of it so once i drop the next video whenever i cut his hair it should be longer it should have more flow to it some more texture um but again some good content for you and I love creating this content in my suite. Like I don't have no, you know, music going in the background. If I wanted to talk, um, nothing in the background that's going to, uh, what's that word? Limit me for whatever I can do, you know, as far as recording videos. If I wanted to have the real audio from me and my client, I can do so because I could just mute, mute the TV. Whoa, my voice just cracked. <laughs> I could just mute the TV. I'm doing this voiceover man at 9:30 in the morning, right before work. So. Bear with me, your boy just woke up not too long ago. <laughs> Y'all gonna hear it on this mic. <clears throat> but yeah, I'm using the new, the new Blue Yeti mic. Man, I got a new MacBook. You don't hear that buzzy noise in the background. So I, I, it's time to level up. Shout out to the wifey, man. She blessed me for Christmas. So look, guys, now you're starting to have some flow, adding that blow dryer to it. You can see there's some texture in there as well. Now we're gonna uh, apply some 245. I believe I use the uh, Royal Wax. And I'm just gonna form it with the, you know, with my hands, style it how I want it. <clears throat> but shout out to my boy Gary for allowing me to record this haircut tutorial for you guys. He's excited about this mullet to grow, but look how that taper came out. The nice PC look. I'm kind of look at that. Ooh. Clean, clean, clean. Wait till you see the finished product, guys. This is just me like trying to see which way his hair is gonna lay. But I think it came out dope, man. I love the mullet look. I loved the high textured part of this haircut. I think it came out clean, super blurry. But guys, make sure you hit that subscribe button, like, share, comment. Hit that notification button. That way, whenever I drop a new video, you are notified.
but this is the finished product hopefully you enjoyed this haircut tutorial and as always team gifted stay gifted